Cinematic masterpieces. This no, is that's not one uncut. Of them. We're not. No, this. This is. We're not. This is. Un, this is not uncut. Oh, this is not this uncut. This one's gonna be edited all the way. Uh, okay. We might okay, even edit you out completely, depending on <laughs> how this goes. <laughs> Aloha, Aloha. Top of the morning. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're gonna edit you out. We're editing that part out too. We're gonna edit this whole video. My mom is with me today. So yeah, she gave birth to me. Obviously. Y yes. Well, yes. We won't go into that right now. <clears throat> so. Anybody has a problem with me, you know where to send your complaints. <laughs> but I only contributed um how many genes? Half dad, of them. Yeah, dad's the other half, and you do a lot of things like that. <laughs> well, I've got a clutch to share with you that hatched out today, and I've got another clutch in the incubator hatching out right now that I'm super excited about. I, these guys walked up the hill and I was jumping around outside of the snake room. They're like, what is happening with this guy from here? Yeah, we were trying to like, run away. <laughs> What's the matter? Well, let's jump right into it. Oh, you know what? I forgot to. Let's, let's show mom and dad first. Oh, I said hi, mom. <laughs> Dad's upstairs. This is dad, Bruce, Enchi Cinnamon. No, not Cinnamon. Sorry. I'm so used to saying Enchi Cinnamon these days. Enchi Het Sunset. 100% Het Sunset. Bruce has sired a handful of fantastic clutches around here, and he is the sire of this clutch that we're about to take a look at right now. Beautiful example of a Enchi Het Sunset. Just shed out. Looking great. Bruce, I've the champ. Bruce for a while. I've had Bruce for a long time. Yeah. Good job, Bruce. And here comes the mama. Gotta have the mama. Got Bruce from BHB back in the day, by the way, and mom got from Freedom Breeder a while back. She, unfortunately, is going into shed right now. She doesn't look as good as she usually does, but she is Sophie, and she is an Enchi Lesser Spider. Looking in shed. <laughs> <laughs> but she's Sophie because she has a... Giraffe or oh yeah, right? Sophie. She got her name because she had this uh, kind of giraffe-looking mark on her. That's the giraffe right there. That was the marking that got her her name because we had a giraffe named Sophie. That's actually similar colors to her with the the tan and the yellow. That's, that's true. very dulled out right now because she's in shed, but <laughs> it is there. Now, I don't generally like to do pairings that result in pots heads unless I'm going head to head to try and make visuals. Because this is obviously a, a 100% het to a non even pos het. So we're making only pos heads, 50% pos heads. The main reason being, I've wanted to make a super enchi ball python for a long time and have not ever. As many enchi to enchi pairings as I've ever done, still haven't had a super enchi pop out until I believe today. So there's also something really interesting about a lot of the snakes in this clutch that I'm going to take a look at. So this one is. Oh wait, maybe this, did this guy not shed out yet? This guy looks like he hasn't shed out yet. What are you doing, dude? Are you super late bloomer? That looks like he's still got his egg skin on. No way, everybody else is long shed out. Mm, that I feels, no that brush. feels like Ed's egg skin on there still. I no brush. I guess we'll find out if there's a shed sitting in his or her spot. So this is the first one. This is a, an Enchi, and you can tell it's an Enchi and not a normal because of the banding going across the back. The gravelly kind of orange stuff popping up inside of the alien heads which he's looking like he might be at sunset i'm probably going to say that about every single one of these snakes and she 50 percent pos head sunset huh. good looking snake very good looking i like those colors do i get to hold sure, it? sure you get home and you can do the transfer box so after we show a snake here we're going to transfer over to that oh, box over there okay. and that could be your official job mom I'm not going to sex the snakes right now. I'm just going to show you guys the the different animals we got. We did get seven good, healthy snakes out of this clutch, all doing a fantastic job of... Is this kind of shit? I think they're just wet. I, I, I clean them off with a little bit of moisture. I think they're just wet. I do not believe that this still has egg skin. This one also looks like it's most likely going to prove out his head sunset. Is that good? <laughs> yeah, it's great. Oh, okay. It's just, you know, it's that... The, 
to, to some people, it's kind of obvious what the signs are, but I'm not going to claim that they are actually Het Sunset. But man, if that doesn't prove Het Sunset, I will just be, I'll be surprised. Another Enchi, as you can tell by the, the nice, oh, focus camera, as you can tell by the nice orange colors coming up inside of the alien heads, and those oranges leading me to believe that it's Het Sunset. Got some nice contrast going on, got some lightness, got the, of course, all of the banding. All the pattern. You see that banding, mom? Like how the how it crosses across the top, yes. like kind of like tiger stripes going across. Ah, uh, yes, um, yes. Laterally across yes. the. Is that yes. correct? Is lateral? Is that the correct? Side, side to side. This way. That's lateral. Yes, because right? otherwise it'd be longitudinal, right? Sure, mom. Okay. Let's just say. Let's just agree. <laughs> Look at the belly too. A lot of pattern going down the middle of the belly there, on that animal. And I'll, I'll find out later. Uh, if you guys are going to the. Anaheim show on September 11th, the weekend of September 11th, Anaheim Reptile Show, Reptile Super Show happening. I'm going to be going there. I'll have a booth. I'll be down there doing interviews. I will probably have most of this clutch with me available on the table. I don't think I'm going to list this. I think about, about, about the time that that show's happening, these guys will have meals and they'll be ready to travel down and, and sit there so you can come see these in person. You know, I'll probably bring some visual sunsets to check out as well if you want to take a look at those and see them in person with your own eye. I was hoping that I was also advertising that my mom would be there. However, <laughs> she's not going to be in the country, so... Yep, Thanks, yep. Hopefully mom. you're going to leave the country and travel the, with your sister. So when did these guys hatch out? Um, this was a, about a week and a half-ish ago or so. And then you tried to it was on. Them. Oh, you know what? It was, a, it was Father's Day when they hatched out. Ah. Here's another... Uh, one that looks like it's just you know here's here's what i'm looking at guys you can see these colors coming up in the belly this is a spider that really looks like it's gonna prove i mean i, I feel like i'm sound disingenuous i'm saying that a lot of these look like they're gonna prove out to be at sunset but what i'm looking at is this okay. crazy amount of orange color that's bleeding up from the belly into the alien heads and that's not a color that you always see on a spider like that not that I've seen a million spiders, but I've seen a handful, and uh, it just looks like something that's probably going to prove out Het Sunset. But you know, there's I can, say all, as, I can say that all day long. What's really going to take them to prove out is that they'll have to breed and have to oh, produce sorry. sunsets, obviously. <laughs> Mom, please don't break the snakes. <laughs> there we go. Beautiful spider. And something that I've noticed on a lot of the animals in this clutch, if you take a look underneath here on the chin, there's this interesting pattern happening markings happening underneath the chin there you can see that right there i'll show you in a lot of the other snakes too there's a very interesting uh under the chin markings going on now this one i'm thinking is enchi spider for a couple of reasons the enchi that's the thing about why, why i wouldn't be surprised if a bunch of these end up being head sunset whatever real reason that male that enchi sunset bruce he has strong genetics meaning that he tends to throw lots of enchis which is why i've been surprised i've never produced a super enchi and and he throws out his head sunset a lot like he's he's we've done lots of head to head pairings or several head to head pairings with him and we always get visuals in the clutch every single time like a bunch of them so it's just it's a yep. interesting thing it's mom actually could you bring that back about i kind of want to show the difference between okay. this one and the other one the and other two are like i want out so if you guys can see kind of the more exaggerated stripe going down the back you see a lot of the banding of the pattern happening whereas the spider the normal spider it's run a lot more longitudinal, you know, it's a pattern going that way, whereas this one has a lot more of the banding kind of cutting across, and you've got that lighter shade. And then this one also has the very interesting markings there underneath the chin. Really cool looking and just different, something I never really noticed before on a lot of other snakes. Uh, yeah, pretty cool. And the next one here, I'm positive, is an Enchi Spider. I don't think it's quite super enchy status, but it definitely has a much more reduced amount of pattern on the oh. head compared to the other guy there. Um, and then this one definitely has the the banding going down back towards the edge of the tail, crossing over the snake instead of running up and down the long length of it. And a lot more exaggerated white coming up the sides, a lot of pixelation happening across the belly. And also, with that very interesting chin patterning happening. That one, this one has it more extreme than, than the others even. Here, look at that one. Oh yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's it's just just different. Never really see, saw so much uh, extreme pattern on the chin of a snake. But well, maybe you haven't taken the time to look as much, but just pretty cool. So is this one of your most 
pet projects are important. Oh, no, no. The clutch that's in the incubator right now that's hatching out currently, that is the pet project. The ultimate. Now, this is an Enchi Lesser spider. Looks just like mom, almost identical. You can tell the lesser in this one compared to the rest of the animals. It's just a much lighter color. Lesser, of course, being an extreme pattern and uh, color mutation. It's it's very powerful. You get the Enchi influence, these small, tiny, little, soft holes in the keyholes and alien heads. And Pretty. Now, since the lesser lightens up the pattern quite a bit, you can't see them nearly as clearly, but there are these little tiny chin marks on there. They're, they're super faint and light, but there is the there are those chin markings on the snake as well. Just something I, I found very interesting. Again, just like mom, and she lesser spider. Are you gonna hold any of these back, or are these all? Great question. This right. is the last snake, snake number seven right here, and I will be holding it. It's a female. Uh, so the post hat sunset will definitely be doing putting a visual sunset to this girl sometime in the future, some kind ah. of visual sunset combo to try and prove her out. And she is also the super Enchi version of that snake. So where that Enchi lesser spider there is a uh, stingless bee. I don't know what you call the super Enchi version, actually. An Enchi spider is a stinger bee. Enchi lesser spider is a stingless bee. Um... Super and she lesser spider is I don't know what you call it. Does anybody know what you call a super and she lesser spider? Because uh, whether or not I'm right about that, which I'm pretty sure I am, given the extreme amounts of reduction in pattern, uh, that just screams super and she, especially down to the tail here. You can see the pattern almost starts to disappear. This and the, the head pattern is much more reduced. There's not nearly as much head pattern on the super and she version as there's. Whether or not I'm right, it doesn't matter because I'm keeping this girl back. And I think it's obvious, though. It's, it's obvious to me that this is Super Enchi. And I'm stoked because it's finally, finally a Super Enchi. And all the pairings I've done to try and hit a Super Enchi and never hit it, somehow we finally hit Super Enchi. And that means that this girl, all, everything she produces will be Enchi. And if she proves out to be Het Sunset and everything comes out Enchi, as you guys know, I really believe that Enchi is one of the key ingredients in producing very good looking sunsets that'll just be a huge win so what the word enchi come from uh, the, the whole enchilada or some kind of oh. river in africa or i don't i don't remember i've heard a couple different stories huh. and i don't know which one to believe <laughs> so i just pretend to believe both of them she kind of looks peachy just I, oh you've seen some peachy in there oh, maybe, no maybe i don't know prove out head sunset then <laughs> i know nothing i just the color i just i don't know the, the two lighter ones remind me of, I just think peach, peachy. They look peachy. <laughs> I, I didn't really let you talk much in this episode. <laughs> That's now. okay. I don't mind. I just, I'm happy to sit here and, and because I really don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> it's not my, uh, uh, what do you call it? I, it's not my area oh, of expertise. It's all right. You yeah. could always ask me questions if you wanted to. Um, I, th I felt like I did. A pr did I do a decent job of explaining? Yes, what they I like? think so. Yeah. Okay. I, so I can ask you questions. So in 1994, uh, <laughs> I was 13. Oh, okay. Never mind. How about 1998? I was 17. Ah, see, now you have some stories there I need to hear about. <laughs> I'm just waiting for the question. Oh, the question. Hmm. I can't answer you if you don't ask one. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's all right. I won't. I won't ask on camera. But later. <laughs> oh, I was going to show you guys the clutch. So this is the clutch that is going to be the reason I wanted to breed ball pythons in the first place. And it's this clutch right here is kind of just where it's at. Pairing was uh, Enchi Clown, 100% hit pied to a pied, 100% het clown. Right there you can see we've got uh, a snake. <laughs> and it looks like it has the pied markers all on the bottom there. Where's the, this this one right here is definitely, that's not a clown, it's a clown pied. Okay, we hit clown pieds for sure. I know you can't really see them right now, but I promise as soon as this clutch sheds out, I will be giving you a full look at what is my most exciting clutch to have hatched out here at Triple B ever because clown pies again were that's just my favorite always have been my favorite always will be my favorite most likely and uh 
we actually have some clown pies in here. So I'm super excited to show you guys those when they come out of the egg, which I will do. Um, thank you guys for watching. Thanks for letting my mom sit here and, and silently uh, appreciate me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, always, 24-7. <laughs> take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and we'll see you uh, on Monday for Johnny Cash, for real this time. He means it. Whatever you want now. This, this is free country. You can look wherever you, you so choose. Except for directly <laughs> into my eyes. It's uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> Any more of it there. Let's see what we got. We got snakes. Snakes. Mom. We got snakes. We got mom. We you. got me. Okay. And a fly flying around the... Right. You know, it just wants to be with the other animals. Do you see it? No. Oh, I just thought back here. If you had a baseball bat, Corey would take it down with a baseball bat for you. It's like right by my head, but I can't see it. <laughs> Dude, why can't I hear it but not see it? I don't hear it. Oh, it just buzzed by my head. Yeah, mine too. Why is it so erratic? Because it's scared. I can hear it buzzing, but I can't see it. Any yeah, I heard it buzz by. Uh, Is that going to make that big a difference? It, in my brain? Yeah. Oh, in your brain. You need one of those fly zapper thingies. All right, it's official. I need a screen door on this room. <laughs> I'm going to get one.